hello everyone uh, welcome back again uh, in this video i gonna show you how to install ubuntu in your evng lab in another video i have explained how to install the evng and that you can check out from the i button it might reflect over there just check out that video and install your evng first then uh, how do you install the ubuntu there is few step only it's pretty uh, simple so what you have to do all uh, that is uh, you have to go to the ubuntu website from there you can get a options download right just click on the download there you can get the multiple version of ubuntu right so our purpose is to install the ubuntu desktop only for testing purpose and the lab purpose yes you can install the uh, server also but uh, our objective is to install the ubuntu desktop from there you can get uh, option to uh, versions right different versions uh, just click over there and download it out as i have already downloaded i am not going to show you uh, how to download right it's it's uh, only take time so just do one thing just download and after download it will uh, look like this right uh, it could be ioso or uh, it could be a tar file so in this video i'm going to show you the tar file only right all right so uh, we have to follow few steps only as we have downloaded first we have to understand where we will install we will install the evng so we have to transfer this file to the evng so how do i transfer we have to uh, take uh, uh, help of any ftp uh, software like uh, filezilla like uh, winscp here as i have the winscp i am going to use the winscp so let me open the winscp first yeah so initially it is asking uh, for the username uh, for the for the host name right uh, let me put the host name or ip addresses as it's not uh, binded to the dns that's what i'm putting the ip address and it will ask for the username and password and the username should be a definitely root password uh, yeah so now it's uh, i am i can access the left hand side you can imagine uh, it's 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 not imagine it's your desktop or your pc or your laptop whatever it is your local uh, site and right hand side is the your evng right so as i show you i have downloaded uh, this uh, file uh, lab documents this is the location so this is the path where i kept all these two file so now my objective is to uh, transfer this uh, tar.zz to evng right so how do i transfer that is fine uh, that is easy how to transfer but thing is that we have to keep in mind we have to transfer this uh, ios for t uh, tar uh, file a uh, specific locations right uh, so what is the specific locations let me show you in evng uh, you have to go to the opt file right so where is the opt file let me uh, search there is the opt right so under the opt there is the uh, 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 unnet lab right let me uh, yeah the, the unit lab over there under the unit lab you have to go to add-ons what is the add-ons let me search it yeah here it is add-ons the under the add-ons we have to go to the QME. so here is the path keep in mind right here it is let me copy uh, thanks for your patience guys otherwise it will require again and again right yeah uh, so we are in the right track uh, we are here uh, where we have to uh, put but uh, thing is that i am going to do one thing i am going to uh, create one folder over here uh, why uh, because i can track uh, where the exact file because it's a it's a uh, by default this is the locations where i have to keep this file so how do, how do i uh, create there is two way using this uh, win scp another way is the by logging in the via the cli right so uh, yeah already i might log in that is also till it is there so from here you by uh, using a command right you can uh, you can make a directory right uh, so the command is mkdir right uh, after the mkdir i have to put this location's name right so in this location what you have to do you have to create one folder right which folder let me show you let me copy this name also right uh, let me put it out like this yeah i can take this and i can take this 
yeah so if i uh, press enter it will automatically create it yeah hope it is uh, created over there let me check from here add-ons give me uh, it is not showing yet let me go there I don't give me it is not showing over here uh, anyway let me log it out it will show because I have created uh, you can check like this also another way it is oh, oh, oh. CD. right yes it is uh, uh, it is there so how do I access that part let me uh, log in again unit lab where is opt 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 here is the opt then unit lab then add ons then qme yeah it is created right uh, let me let me uh, yeah anyway so i can create any uh, uh, dot tar folder also so it is created right so our objective to transfer this file so how do i transfer just drag and drop right so it it might take a bit time right meanwhile you can take your a break or take your coffee tea anything it is almost done <coughs> excuse me yeah it is almost done yeah it's transferred successfully right you can see uh, this file is always transferred already transferred so what we have to do now uh, uh, one to two step we have already uh, completed right so now as it's a, a tar.zz uh, file we have to extract so how do we extract this file we have to go again uh, to this uh, particular CLI let me uh, make it bigger over here see let me show you uh, one thing that is like <coughs> uh, this is the location right uh, opt unit lab add-ons the qme then this is the folder we created so we, we entered this folder right by could using this command cd then 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 this is this is the folder right so under the folder once we put this command ls the the it is showing the file is there right so now we are here so what we have to do we have to unzip this part right so how do i unzip the command is tar x z v f then we have to put the entire file name so what is our file name z z right tar x z v f then the file name right it is extracted already right this is the file name you can see uh, v-i-r-t-i-o-u-a right q-c-o-w-2 so this is the file it is already extracted and what we have to do now uh, the, the the file we have transfer that is not required now at all right because already it is extracted over there so what we can do we can delete that folder sorry delete that file uh, or we can do one thing we can delete it later on also right so no let, let it keep it there let me check from here all right so if you put the command file is there right So what we have to do now, we have to uh, make the permission right for this uh, particular uh, file. So how do we fix the permissions? So let me go back over there. We have to fix the permission. Opt. 
basically we have to give the location again opt sorry opt then unit lab this much is required we put this much then another command we have to uh, give over here that is so permission successfully taken let me check another time yeah so the permission i have given uh, it's perfectly uh, okay now uh, what we have to do uh, everything is done right uh, we, uh, we fix the permissions we uh, oh, oh, one 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 part we are missing that is we have to delete that folder right uh, anyway we can delete later on also uh, no issues for that anytime we can delete now it's it's been done let let us check to events right let me go there let me be refresh or rather i can do one thing let me log out if we try to add let me linux here is linux right it's been installed now it is showing linux over here let me choke from there you can get this file right this is the image already you have extracted uh, this is the server uh, one thing uh, we have to change might be we have to change over here the study or we can do one thing we can do it later on also if it is taken successfully now uh, initially you can do one thing you can take uh, two cpu this much uh, this is not very less but still for uh, initially you can uh, test with this right uh, uh, everything is fine now uh, number one let me add. all right so it's added successfully now what we'll do uh, we'll add another part that i have earlier also i show you that i'm going to use a uh, management uh, uh, cloud right so that we can test in more better way all right so i have added uh, apart from the uh, linux uh, desktop uh, i have added one management cloud so that we can test more right so let me power on first this uh, server yeah so it is a uh, power on right uh, now uh, after powering on it will uh, turn to a uh, bit more uh, bluer <laughs> it's it's more enable kind of uh, stuff so it will show you it's turn to more blue right now uh, if it this server is not powering on after installing the linux what you will do we have to check few things right whether your uh, interface uh, is perfectly configured or not or whether your virtualization is enabled, enabled or not that is more important right and whatever command you are uh, uh, writing in the CLI uh, keep check all this part and keep an eye on all this part right because if you uh, put anything wrong it will not going to be turn on right so let's check uh, as it's a uh, turn on let me open it out so uh, yes uh, default username is the user and the password is the test123 as all we know right let me test one two three yeah it is it is it's a boot up right now uh, first thing is that we have to check few things that is the whether this uh, this this server is connected or not how we'll check uh, here it's a simple very simple i'm not going to uh, show you over the cli because it is uh, take time and uh, i will try to show you in different video right so where connection is connected it is showing right uh let me check this part where setting go to the where setting over here if you if you have to uh, change anything all right uh in that case you can change from this option right uh from the network and go to the settings from the settings you have to change all the stuffs and it is connected you can see uh, this is the connected right and once you uh, click on setting you will get uh, going to get this kind of window from there uh, just click on the gear uh, icon over there if you click on that icon it is going to open a such kind of uh, window right just ipv4 uh, update no 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 longer provided yeah uh, let's ignore for a while 
yeah so here uh, automatic i have configured you can uh, configure it manual then put ip addresses uh, over here dns over here right then uh, then 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 route you can uh, configure anything if you once you uh, select the manual part right so i'm not going to configure right now uh, for the manual uh, before that i will test other part also let me minimize it okay it is open let me test few other part click on terminal because uh, see all the stuffs you have to do with the terminal only right let me ping the gateway first right uh, yeah it is reachable uh, that's what it is connected right oh, oh my god yeah now let me check whether as i have connected with the uh, cloud uh, internet right cloud in the sense uh, management network it, by default it will uh, make you breach yeah i am getting the internet also right uh, let me skip from here yeah cancel cancel close terminal make a bit higher because you have let me open the browser let me open whether i am able to uh, accessing the internet or not yes i am be able to access the internet and that is also successfully now uh, let me open let me open from here uh, go to the documents let me show you oh here uh, image 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 QME. how to create image just go to this section right and there as it's a linux machine you have to go to the linux machine linux image here all the detail is there right how what are the command if you want to install the iso right uh it could be iso image you can install it has the steps how you do everything is there right from here also you can follow right so anyway i will give uh, all the step by step documents and keep eyes on this uh, series because I'm going to explain all this uh, lab related story and how to create a lab in a very low cost. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for your time.